Hello Beauty News family, Hi. welcome to a skincare chat. Yes. Now we have done one of these before with Darren Clark Hi, from everyone. Glyco. <laughs> Some Remember him. It was actually a good yeah. chat. A lot it was of people fantastic. Loved it. Yes. it was. We also have Simon Prieto. Hi. Yes. I'm good. terrible with his surname. No, you're but he just told me how to say it. No, it's good. Uh, and he is, uh, or he runs a blog called The Skincare Obsessive. Yes. So last time we did one of these chats, um, we basically sat down and talked about uh, skincare and some concerns that come along with like looking after your skin. Today we wanted to do the same thing. The last chat was very well received, but we thought instead of doing a generalized chat, we we're going to go deep into anti-aging. Yeah, so last time around we had so many questions and scenarios put to us and I know Darren was like, we need to cover them, we didn't cover them all. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I had a list of concerns that people had and we decided to break it down into two uh, sort of videos. So we thought we would start with anti-aging and everything that goes along with it and then maybe later in the year we'll do acne, yeah, oily yeah. skin, Big concerns. Yeah. I've got them. You've got them. Got you've them. got. We've all yeah. got them. We've all got them. So it's a yeah, we're going to be talking about that at a later date. We thought it'd be better to go, you know, mm. deep into one topic um, and cover it quite extensively, and then mm. move on to another one in the future. So um, yeah, if you did leave topics or questions for Darren, we decided to tackle the situation more like what to do with each problem. Um, we did have people leave like long scenarios about problems they had specifically, but we had issues with, you know, okay, you need to look at someone's skin, what they're using, any sensitivities. They were quite specific. They were very yeah. specific. Yeah. So we thought it wasn't the best to be like, dear Darren, please answer my concern. We just thought we'll take that concern and give general information about it so that's yeah. what we're doing today Brilliant. yes but we thought we'll start um to talk more a little bit uh, more a little bit um, <laughs> <laughs> more uh about our guests so yes. we're going to talk uh the backgrounds of how you guys got into skincare uh what you do what you love about skincare and yep. your stories a little bit so you get to you know about Haley and myself you yeah. know about us yeah we're you boring <laughs> let's let's learn okay Darren start what so how did you get into skincare yeah right okay um well hi everyone so my story dates back to when I was 17 so 30 years ago um I was working in a takeaway shop in Adelaide where I was born and raised and um I had a three hour break between the lunch and the, the dinner shift. It's a long, shift. Break. It's a long yeah. break. I used to always get so bored. Yeah. Yeah. My options were go to a park and you know read a book or I'd jump on a bus and go to the city, which was 10 minutes away. And I don't know why, but this particular day, I had it in me that I needed to go and buy some skincare. I was at the tail, tail end of um, acne as well. Mm. I'm working in a takeaway shop yeah, with a lot of oil. oil. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it no. was really, it as was soon just as you getting said worse. Fish and chip shop, I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. And, the, <laughs> and the smell. And yeah. The, yeah, it really, anyone who's ever worked in a fish and chip shop knows that those deep fryers yeah. permeate yes. everything. Yeah. 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 And that was yeah, pretty much the case. So I jumped on a bus, I went to the city, and the department store that I had, had gone to was um, closed for renovations, and they had a temporary store down the road, so I walked down there. And I, when I walked inside, for some reason I gravitated to the Estee Lauder counter. They had a, um, they still do have Aramis for men. Mm. Um, and I, mind you, I'm 17, so I have no idea about skincare. Yeah. I was um, naive. I just You're went like, up to the shiny bottles. Yeah. Yeah. Shiny yeah. bottles. Give me all Looks of nice. the things. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I just said, so I walked up to the counter and this lady who was just immaculately dressed, her makeup was to perfection. Uh, just flawless, come up to me and sort of said, you know, hi, how can I help you? And I said, I need some skincare. And she said, well, you've come to the right place. And I look good. Um, and um, she said, what's your concerns? And I just sort of said, oily, you, you know, problematic skin, mm. pimples, whatever. And she said, no worries. So she, she leant over, she pulls out a product from the counter, the, the glass counter, she puts it on top and she said, well, you need to start with this. Yeah. I said, okay, well, what's this one? She said, that's your cleanser. Right. Yeah, no worries. She said, just wash your face, you'll be fine. And then she leans over and pulls out a second product. She said, you also need to, you must use this. This is going to get rid of all your dead skin cells. So this is your scrub. I said, okay, yep, cool. 
she, anyway, she kept leaning over, pulling out this product. <laughs> and at the end, she said to me, so I had a cleanser, I had a scrub, I had a pre-shave balm, a oh, shave oh, cream. Wow. <laughs> yeah, a shave She's cream. She's like, I've got a sucker. Yeah. yeah. And I was... Really mean. And just be naive. I just, whatever she said, yeah. I had to yeah. buy. It was like two weeks. Okay, pretty lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. $200 yeah. later. Yeah. Yeah. And it was. It was yeah. $280. Yeah. Whoa. The aftershave balm, the moisturizer, and then this to top it off. She said, you need this. It was a shampoo to thicken your hair. I said, no. I'm, I'm 17. No. I don't Seven, even... No. But I bought her because she said I need her. So, oh, you're anyway. Like the best, best yeah. customer ever. But yeah. I learned. Yeah. And within 24 hours, I learned my lesson. So what mm. happened was I bought all this stuff, went back to work, finished my shift, went home. Um, I didn't use my products. I had a shower and went to bed. The next morning, I woke up. I was actually quite excited. So I put all the products on my bed, and they all had the leaflets in there. So I was reading all that stuff. I put my TV on, and Oprah was interviewing a cosmetic critic saying, don't believe all the marketing. You're wasting your money. Oh, it's like a dagger to the heart. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was a dagger to the heart. And literally the next day after yeah. you've gone and like yeah. spent all that money. Did you just I crawl up on the bed and start crying? Well, I kind of <laughs> looked at it and said, what the f- F of my time. <laughs> um, but I actually got ready and I, I started using the products, but I, I ran in the shower, had breakfast, and I dashed off to the bookstore to get her book. Yeah. Mm. And that's how the passion for skincare mm. started for me. So I became a skincare junkie. Yeah. Um, had the graveyard skincare drawer, yeah, yeah, things that yeah. you never finished. And, yeah. Yeah. and that's pretty I'm much familiar. how it started. Yeah. 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 I think any skincare junkie who's yeah. watching is sitting there right now going, oh, I've got one of those drawers. Oh, I've got yeah. many of those drawers. Yeah. 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 Slash bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you went from being an enthusiast and then you turned it into your job? Yeah, so I, um, my career was actually in the travel industry mm-hmm. um, for 15 years and towards the end of that I started, uh, I studied beauty part-time, um, started doing treatments from home and that's um, not long after that I launched um, Facial Co, which is an online beauty store which mm-hmm. I sold four years ago, um, so I could do my own skincare mm-hmm. line basically, but that yeah. was my journey, yeah. Yeah, so. and now you've got a Bomber skincare Thank brand, you. which I we'll do. talk yeah. about later. We yeah. will. Yeah. We will get into uh, some products a little bit later. Simon, yes. do you want to tell us who you are? Yes, yes. tell us, Simon. Yeah. I can tell you who like I am. Like I don't know because you're not my best friend or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing like that. Hey, I had to ask him how to pronounce his surname like True. 10 minutes ago. Look, it's so. a very... <laughs> He's Simon the Skincare Obsessive. Exactly. That's all he is know. Simon the Skincare Obsessive. It's a very tricky surname, to be fair. Um, my story is not as exciting, but um, I've pretty much always loved skincare and beauty from a really young age. And it's just something that I've always been obsessed with. Yeah. Go figure. Yeah. Um, and then I guess I started kind of reading blogs and I just kind of thought, oh, there aren't many kind of males out there kind of doing it. And yeah. I just kind of are. thought, yeah, yeah, even now um, in beauty. And um, I just kind of thought I kind of need to do it. Mm. I need to kind of get in there and do it. Yeah. And um, I think I just started and all my friends kind of knew me as like the beauty person. Yeah. So all my friends would like ask me like, oh, what cleanser should I use? And what's this and what's that and what's that? So I think just putting it out there in a blog. Yeah. That's what kind of like started it all as well. But you also, um, you worked in David Jones in the the beauty department. So you were quite familiar with a lot of brands. and Yeah. So I worked in fragrance for quite a while and I worked on a few different um, counters and things. So I kind of worked in in the field, I suppose, as well. Yeah, excellent. And so, yeah. his life goals is pretty much to do what Darren's done and start his own brand. Yeah, so. that would be great. It'd be great. All right, yeah. well, excellent. listen in because you might get some tips. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. so shall we start with aging, yes. anti aging? What do you think is the most important thing to know? Thing to know starting. Yeah, absolutely. The number one thing is, you know, that the the sun um, mm. is our worst enemy when yeah. it comes to aging. Um, yeah. And time and the sun. The time and the sun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and yeah. things that we love. Um, yeah. So, um, in terms of um, you know, age prevention, um, 
without a doubt, sunscreen's always going to be your, yep. your best friend. Yep. Um, and even from a young age, because yeah. a lot of the um, sort of the collective damage that happens is when we're young. It's like right. pigmentation. If you, mm. you know, lay in the sun as, you know, young as 11 or even, you know, in your teens, yep. a lot of that pigmentation might not come out until you're sort mm. of in your late 30s, 40s. So that's what's happening to me now. Yeah. Now. You're like, what's that spot? Damn, 17 year old Hayley. I find most people that are concerned about ageing. Uh, they are concerned when they start seeing signs of yeah. aging. Yes, but yeah. to if, best case scenario, you'd want to prevent it. Mm. Mm. Absolutely, because prevention is uh, a lot easier than correction. Yeah, mm. and despite the fact that companies like um, my company are spending a lot of money in research, development, and coming out with cutting edge products. Um, you know, we can only go so far. Yes, yes. Mm. yes. Yeah. So with um, and look, you, we're everyone talks about sunscreen all the time, and mm. I know that you know people probably are sick of hearing. Yes. But we're saying it for a reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, UV, uh, SPF um, filters out, you know, up to 98% of yeah. the UV rays. And, and the problem with the sun's UV rays is they actually damage our collagen. So they mm -hmm. cause pigmentation, yeah. they damage our collagen, and that's when we start seeing wrinkles form, mm -hmm. um, the loss of firmness in the skin, mm -hmm. and so forth. So it is really important that that becomes your mainstream stream product. Yeah. And I mean, collagen is something that isn't produced as much as you age anyway. Mm. So I suppose you really do want to Preserve protect that. Mm. that while it's young and fresh and doing its yeah. thing. Absolutely. The interesting thing with collagen is like everything else in our body, it all starts to slow down as we get older. Mm -hmm. And collagen is one thing that we can't put back into the skin because yeah. the molecular weight is too high. What so, about all those collagen I know. serums? They're well? lying so to they, us, Darren. Yeah, well, they, they're, um, they're using like marine collagen. <laughs> yeah. okay. It's still not going to put collagen back into your skin. There's mm -hmm. other benefits of the, okay. the marine collagen that they're right. using. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, your best um, bet is to use um, ingredients that are going to help stimulate your collagen mm. to produce yep. more, such right. as you know your alpha hydroxy acids and yep. things like that. They really do help stimulate right. the collagen in the okay. skin. Okay, excellent. Okay, so wear a sunscreen. Yeah. yeah. What are other things to help prevent aging? Um, as Just we get, general. Yeah, things. exfoliation is really mm. important. Mm -hmm. um, that that that's one of my top recommendations. Um, a lot of people overlook serums mm. and the the problem with um, not using a serum is um, and we may have touched this on, on the la touched on this on the last video is the serums are designed to penetrate the skin and work in yeah. the dermis which they're is sort of like the workhorse that's of right. the routine yeah. right it's, they're the like real heavy duty ones that do the good shit absolutely and they're yeah. normally a lot thinner like the, the moisturizers and things as well so i guess they sink in a bit they a do bit more. you can yeah. get all based or water based um, yeah. type serums um and you know the whole idea is that um from an inside out perspective mm. um you're doing that correction so that's yeah. really really important um going to have treatments regularly whether mm. it's um you know uh, just a really good facial or a yep. peel or micro or something like that every now and again. I don't helps. do that. <laughs> no, we don't. I do all We don't that. do enough we don't of that, that clearly. Yep. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. <laughs> I'm taking mental notes. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm a big believer of also using a really good night cream. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Because at night, when our body's in a restful state, it can really utilise those ingredients yeah. uh, a lot better. Yeah. Um, so protecting the day, sort of repair at night, so to speak. Yeah. Um, but also what's really important is don't hone in on one ingredient. Um, mm. Our body and our skin needs multitude of ingredients. Mm. Um, so it's really important that you do factor in the key ones such as you know your vitamin A, mm. B, C, and so forth. Yeah. yeah. It's great to go and get a 10, 15% glycolic acid product, mm. but if it's not formulated to respect the skin at the same time. Yeah. So you want the actives to to do the correction, mm. Mm. but you also don't want to take your skin in a, into a position where you start getting redness, irritation, yeah. flakiness. Yeah. And that's what you know, glyco is all about. It's mm. about balancing, yeah. respecting the skin and dealing with inflammation mm. at the same time as correction. So yeah. that's, right. yeah. that's kind of the approach we have. Yeah. yeah. All right, Darren. So let's say um, you haven't prevented the aging or you have, but you're starting to age mm. yeah. because everyone 
is going to age. That's we right. can't stop it. We can't no. stop it. Um, Yet. What would you... <laughs> I like it. Oh, I, I like love it. That. I, I love in, that. I be in that world. Did you guys no. hear that? Yes. I expect him to be the one that comes up with the fountain of youth and then we're all yeah. Benjamin Buttony. Yeah. 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 Yes. Um, Great. So what, what do you think are like the most common sort of first signs of ageing and how... Do we start treating them? Yeah, absolutely. Well, most most in most cases, it's the fine line. Yeah. Um, I remember waking up and seeing my first fine line, and I honestly, I, I, too, Darren, I'm yes, yeah, I was really like my whole day was F U C K E D. Yeah. Because yeah. I never, I was yeah. so diligent with my skin. Yeah. In those days, I believed that there were miracles. Yeah. In skincare, um, there, well, there are none. Small miracles. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah. small. Yeah. Um, so. Often the fine lines are the first thing that yeah. people start to see. Um, and I guess the question for me is, well, what what have or haven't you been doing? Yeah. Mm. So just getting into a really good skincare regime at that point in your life is yeah. going to help. Mm-hmm. With We can always, you know, minimise lines and wrinkles, um, but we can't actually get rid of them. And you'll okay. often find that sometimes fine lines that, that sort of appear are... Um, sort of, I guess, um, exaggerated because they might have dry skin. So dry right, skin doesn't yeah. cause wrinkles, um, but if you've got a fine line coming yeah. through and you've got dry skin, it's going to look a lot it's worse. It's going to look worse. Yeah. So yeah. even a vitamin yeah. B serum is going to help sort of plump mm. that back out. Yeah. Okay. What about um, the difference between fine lines and dehydration oh, lines? I th- oh, I th- sorry, Simon. Literally, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So How d- would you tell the difference? Well, see, dehydration is um, a lack of water. Yeah. Okay. And dryness is a lack of oil. Yep. Mm. So it's, it's uh, and I guess just talking about the vitamin B serum yeah. is it a great example of what you can do if your skin yeah. is dehydrated. Mm-hmm. So both um, skin conditions um, can have dry flakiness. Mm-hmm. They can have rough sort of texture. Yeah. But you'll find if someone's dehydrated, they actually can look quite dull. Their skin right. tone can look quite dull because okay. it's kind of, you know, inside out. Yeah. Where dryness yeah. is very surface. Um, because okay. I remember the first time I noticed my fine lines. Yeah, my um, fine lines. <laughs> thanks, Darren. Um, no, I remember I had like the really little crepey ones, and I remember I was at a like a skin expo or a beauty expo, and um, they were like looking at things under like whatever. Don't do that. Lamps scary. And things, yeah. Lamps and stuff, and they're like, they're like, oh, it's mainly dehydration, and that's and so I think a lot of people mm. that are quite young do often jump to the heavy eye creams, yeah, but then yeah. they... It's End not, up with bilia. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they do. Exactly. exactly right. And that's a problem yeah. that a lot of people have. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, I'm this is what I was bilia. saying before about um, if, you've not, if you're not doing anything, yeah. just going into it or getting into a good skincare cleanse, a B serum and a moisturiser, mm-hmm. yeah. you're going to notice that a lot of that disappear yeah. almost yeah. straight away. Yeah. Um, because of the dehydration yeah. factor that's associated with that. And that's how you'll kind of, I guess, know it's dehydration because it goes away pretty quickly. Exactly. Or... And also sensitivity is yeah. um, another thing as well. Yeah. You'll find that um, dehydration, dehydrated skin yeah. um, has more redness yeah. at- attached to it as well. Yeah. It's um, probably me. Yeah, it's me. Mm. We drink too much coffee together, so yeah, we drink <laughs> well, too much coffee. Okay, so on that note, we were talking about this before, but um, and we we're saying how a lot of people have you know mentioned that their mums had fabulous skin or their yeah. grandmas yes. because yeah. of yes. you know genetics and stuff, and it does play a role in yeah. you know in our own um, the way our own skin looks. But what's happened is because you know the environment has changed and our lifestyle mm. has changed so much mm. over the years. Um, High stress, very busy, yeah. lots of pollution. Yep. You know, people staying up late, yeah. getting up early, drinking, like, drinking smoking, smoking yeah. partying, taking yeah. other recreational drugs, watching yeah. you married at first sight, oh. pulling out your hair. Look, that's a stressful <laughs> thing. Yeah. 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 So um, yeah. these days, um, most um, experts will say that 80 to 90% of premature aging is associated with um, lifestyle factors. <gasps> and Diet and everything. That's else. it. Everybody, stop what you're doing. <laughs> Quit your jobs. <laughs> chill at home. Yeah. If married at first sight doesn't stress you out, keep watching it. Chuck your phone in the pool. Yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah. Actually, no, don't wow. Yeah. That's... Actually, social media is a big issue. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It can be quite yeah. stressful. It, yeah. I yeah. think it's stressful for so many people. People that creates yeah. social media content people, people that who yeah. absorb it and I yeah. hear that it's increasing like anxiety problems yeah. Yeah. For I'm not surprised this I is right yeah. 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 My, yeah. Problem, yeah. my problem is responding to emails because yeah. I say it 
I write it how I'm thinking it in yeah. my head, and it's not always very polite. So mm. I'm the same. I have. I'm blessed. Mm. With, blessed with the same curse. <laughs> <laughs> the same issue. Blessing. <laughs> it's yeah. a blessing. It's not. Look, it's if you're it's, too direct. Yeah, people you can really upset yeah. people. That's yeah, yeah I that's know. a whole other video. Yeah. it is. But Maybe then, we should then, do that yeah, one day. Having Cat and Darren hour, we would. We don't mean to be rude. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I guess, um, like, there are a lot of factors mm. that can start the premature ageing. That's right. And the typical thing that people see initially is that fine lines. Mm. And fine lines generally the first thing, that, and it yeah. could be a texture issue or de- dehydration yeah. or dryness. Yeah. They're generally the early mm. or initial signs that people see. Um, it also depends on how late they've left it. Right. Um, yeah. It's not uncommon for someone in their 40s and 50s to think, oh, you know, I'm looking pre- pretty haggard. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then they want to start out on a skincare yeah. um, regime. And in that particular case, then you kind of, we've got to go in a little bit harder and a little bit yeah. deeper with them. Right. Yeah. Um, so, but I guess what's really important is if you commit to good skincare yeah. and yeah. the right products, exactly, yeah. Um, yeah. keep it up. You're always going to see amazing improvement. Yeah. But it's also about being patient. You know, if yeah. you've yes. got forty years of damage, and all of a sudden you're going to walk into a beauty salon or a store and yeah. say, "Fix me," yeah, um, you know, well, it's, it's unrealistic. Going to, it's unrealistic. Yeah. You're going to have uh, you're going to have to wait and be patient yeah. with skincare yeah. for it to really work. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And maybe now is actually a good time to bring up like expectations mm. versus reality of what we can do to treat these yeah. signs when we see them. So like you said, with fine lines, um, you can use like a vitamin B product to help sort of plump things and smooth things out. Yep. Would you say um, there's like other products that you can use to sort of make those lines look yeah. softer? Yeah, so the, you know, there is no over-the-counter product that is going to get rid of a no. really full stop. So, so we're not, you know, we people should, aren't stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I we love should. that you said that as well because so many people say that. Like they yeah. say, yeah. oh, I want yeah. something to get rid yeah. of my wrinkles. And, and I'm like... But we still go and buy it if it says the marketing yeah. indicates yeah. it's going to. Yeah. We yeah. still fall yeah. for it because yeah. we're always looking for that next best yeah. thing. I think, oh, it might work. Yeah. I might be the yeah. one person that the marketing, that yeah. they tested, that it works on. Yeah. Yeah. So do you think, like, when you do start to see those lines, it's time to go, okay, this is a part of my life now, Yeah, yeah. but what can we do to improve it? Not fix it, improve it. Yeah, mm. yeah. absolutely. Well, we, we want to look at your active ingredients to mm-hmm. start with. So yeah. we want to look at ingredients like your AHAs, your glycolic mm. acids. Yes. Um, because what they do is they actually, actually glycolic acid um, is one of, Hence the name Glyco. Yes. Um, but it's 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 one of those ingredients that has been around for many many years. Um, originally, it was derived from sugar cane, but mm. but in the sugar cane form, it's uh, it's not stable enough to use mm. in skincare. So we right. use a synthetic version. Yes. But it does a lot of wonderful things for the skin. So the mm. first thing you're going to notice is the clarity and brightness, because what it does is it dissolves the layer of unwanted dead skin cells. Yeah. Mm. So immediately you're going to have better product absorption mm-hmm. yeah. and, and the clearer looking skin. And mm. it's, it's also good for blemishes and things like yeah. that. It also helps with mild pigmentation, uneven skin tone. Mm. But what's beautiful about glycolic, it has a low, P, uh, a low molecular weight. So it actually mm. penetrates mm. into the skin quite Deep. Uh, rapidly We're, and oh, deep okay, yep. um, into the dermis um, and you get that tingling sensation yes, some people yep. call it a biting sensation yep. and that's through the rapid penetration okay. but oh, it also okay. stimulates the collagen in our skin mm. oh so, that collagen that's the stuff that keeps you looking young yeah. folks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> absolutely so that's one of the reasons I'm a very big fan now glycolic's okay. not for everyone mm. if you have a more sensitive um, uh, or sensitized uh, skin type um, you might want to do a little bit of a sort of a te- test mm. patch first mm-hmm. um, because it is very stimulating. Yeah. Um, so glycolic is one. Um, we're talking retinol, vitamin A. We yeah. ha- we the previous video we did we yes. spoke about um, SPF, so sun protection, and um, retinol and retinoids quite involved. Yeah. So I guess I can always have a look at that. You video. Can check yeah, that one we out. will link that one down below too. So but you can vitamin check it out A, if you mm. yeah, is the most. Um, researched um, um, ingredient, yeah. um, certainly the number one ingredient dermatologists recommend mm. is your vitamin A because vitamin A is cell communicating which means that when it enters the skin, 
it attaches itself to your cells right. and feeds your cell nutrients as it's going through the layers of skin to get to the top. Right. Therefore, um, and, and another thing it does, it, it speeds up cell renewal. Okay, so, so the cells turn over quicker. That's right. And when they're coming to the surface, they're actually healthy. Healthy, plump and mm. round, and then they flatten, flatten and then they fall yeah. off. Um, but ultimately, vitamin A is great. And because everything does slow down, yeah. vitamin A mm. speeds everything back up again, so you look younger. So would you say, like, if you... Let's say you're in your mid-20s and you start noticing the fine lines, that's when you probably want to start with, like, a glycolic or something yeah. to, like, just make everything fresh and healthy. Absolutely. And then, like, retinols maybe a bit further bit, down the line? A bit later or? on. There are different forms of um, retinol yeah. um, available. So mm -hmm. even if something like retinol palmitate, for example, which is a um, sort of a gentler version, yeah. and it's also yeah. good for sensitive skin okay, types yeah. as well, they could probably start on something like that in yeah. their moisturiser yeah. um, without going straight to hardcore mm. you know, retinol or ret retinoic acid and things yeah. like that. Mm. But retinols will help those fine lines as well. Absolutely, yeah, yeah mm. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also important because what you're doing is not only sort of minimizing if possible but also preventing mm. it from getting worse yes. and that's what we're always trying to do yeah. like Correct. you've done damage use your spf use your retinols use your uh, glycolics mm. and then really try to sort of stop slow it in slow down yeah, slow the down. damage and the yeah. aging process because that's you can then exactly. find yeah. yourself having fine lines and then deep lines yes yeah. and what happens once wrinkles become deeper wrinkles yeah. yeah so with wrinkles um you know frown or expression lines are probably the hardest to treat so that's just through repetitive muscle movement mm -hmm. and a lot of people uh, like myself i used to be a frowner as a kid Right, but okay. we are the same. Yeah, there's a few of yeah. Botox baby. Okay. <laughs> Not really. Not a baby. I'm a grown ass woman yeah. and I chose to get it myself. Yeah, but, yes. but there yeah, yeah. like yeah. yeah. I should show you later before and afters because oh, have, you, have you got them of yourself? Yeah. Oh, I wanna see or just, them. I look I can. I, I watched that video you. of you when you started off with no makeup because that's yeah. the first time like I've seen yeah. you with no makeup. You, so yeah. it's, <laughs> it's me. Uh, no, uh, yeah, I'll show you later over dinner. We're having yeah. dinner later. I'll show you some photos from only a couple of years ago before oh, yeah. I got Botox because okay. I started getting Botox when or. Disport when, yeah. when I was thirty. Yeah, I like Disport because you still have some natural movement. Yeah, and yes, that, yeah. that's what we're yeah. yeah. But um. Yeah, I'll, sh I'll show it. It's, it's, it's crazy. Now, that's interesting. I've tried it. I went on a, years ago on a, a Caribbean cruise, and I just happened to go to the day spa, because on day one, you can get some good deals and stuff. Yeah. You and the get, doctor was there. You can get it there? Yeah, you did it. Yeah. <laughs> on the cruise. <laughs> we're going on a cruise. <laughs> we're literally <laughs> going have, on a cruise. Look, I think we have today. to. Yeah, they have, a, they have a doctor on board. And I, I um, so anyway, she was standing there. She said, why don't you get a little bit of it? I said, what? Do you think I need it? She said, we'll just do a consultate, just these ones. And I went, yeah. Like, all right, she said, come back in an hour. We'll, I'll do an, a, a bit of an analysis and tell you what it will cost. So um, Tony, my other half, said, you're not, you're not getting it done. Yeah, yeah. You're not wasting the money. It's day one of the cruise, for God's mm. sake. So we went back, and I'm laying on the bed, and she's looking at it. She said, oh, it's going to be 500 US dollars for Ugh. so many ampules. Yeah. That's a lot of money. That was, well, it was, because I mean, this was like six, seven years ago. That's a lot of money. Mm. And he's standing there with his camera, like your big-ass <laughs> camera, and he goes, let's, go, let's do it. Let's do it now. And I went, hang on, I haven't even thought about this. Mm -hmm. I was, but I was already laying down. She said, before you knew it, she had the uh, injection, oh. and it was disbored as well. Yeah. And she said, Sweet. you know, da da and um, it was fine, but she hit a nerve here. No! Oh. Oh. Mother Mary of God, that put me off. Yeah, that's yeah, fair. Yeah, that's you, really like, fair. Okay, we're totally not totally <laughs> going off topic. It's, okay, expression lines. But I have to say, it is worthwhile paying a little bit more mm. and going to a place that knows their shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, she was a doctor. I thought yeah. she knew her shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. not they hit a bump. Like, you know, Maybe. You know, but yeah, it, oh, it can be that's, scary. It might that's have, interesting. Yeah. 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 Luckily, we've been it might have pretty, been bone, we've been know, pretty whatever. blessed with that. But it hurt. Yeah, yeah. it would have. Yeah. It was painful. It that, would have. Yeah. And look, it looked good. This board doesn't last long as Botox, mm. but it gives you that natural, yeah. you know, um, mm. movement and stuff but my issue with you know you start it and you kind of you know you look fantastic you yes. want to keep it up yeah. I mean you two are in the limelight all the time mm. Mm. Um, you know I'm fortunate I work from home and um, do you work from home? Yes, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. So, yeah, and look. His forehead also doesn't move. Yeah, he, yeah. Anyway. He's, 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 he's a, no, I haven't. No, no. His forehead, forehead with doesn't move. No, so, no I, movement. I literally don't move my face. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. use his face. He, yeah. he, just use, face. he just moves his mouth. Like, literally, yeah. I don't move it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know how he does it. <laughs> Darren's like, I don't, don't laugh. Because I, I, don't, I know. I don't want to be the cause. Uh, I don't yeah. want to be the cause of this first. So yeah. Did anyone hear like a whistling sound? Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Stop, uh, like, well, one day was it you? Someone asked me to like frown or something, and yeah. I couldn't. Yeah. I think it was you. I'm That's like, insane. No, he also can't click. I can't click. Can't you? Oh, don't make no. me do it. Do it. But you don't go out in the sun very often, do you? No, you I don't go no in the sun. sun, sun don't yeah, no, I wear sunscreen like every day, like 50, and I don't go in the sun either. Yeah. But a lot of people have, um, and you would have seen this, I think I sent you the, the picture after the last episode that we did of the two yeah. sisters. Yes, mm. that was insane. Twin sisters, one yeah. never went outside, the other yeah. was Sullivan, and she yeah. looked like 30, 20, 30 years yeah. older. Yeah. yeah. And people, people um, underestimate how much yeah. premature aging can actually happen yeah. because yeah. of the sun. I know we've, we've already discussed that. Yeah. But no, I never got, I never stay in the sun. It's very important. And when I was little, to protect yourself yeah. from it. Yeah. yeah. When I was little, mum was always really diligent with sunscreen as well yeah. because That's I've still good. got freckles. And because yeah. I've got freckles and I'm quite pale, mm. she was always really good with sunscreen. With sunscreen yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I think, yeah. I think we, we actually grew up at a probably good time where a lot mm. of the skin cancers and stuff were coming through from people tanning a lot in the 60s yeah. and 70s yeah. so we with grew up with the like yeah yeah cover 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 but yeah it's one good thing but yeah um so okay besides botox but botox and disport like expression lines mm. yes what can you do? yeah so there are Deep products wrinkles and expression lines yeah so there are products and there was one i mean i've formulated one but I didn't bring it to market which um, actually works in the, in the same principle as Botox where it um, helps relax the muscles it's mm. the problem with when you've got it in a product is people don't have the patience yeah. yes. to wait for it to work yeah um, it, it's also great mm. at prolonging Botox and disport injections which is good because it can, sort you of it it. <laughs> can you formulate it can you just formulate you know it jam jar. Jar. Yeah. 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 it's actually ready to go it's just it's just um, I decided against launching it because, like I said, for someone that's maybe not having injectables, mm -hmm. um, you know, when you've got a product that says it's going to do this and this, you mm -hmm. expect to do this, and, and people n won't necessarily wait the time. It takes, yeah. a, like I said, people have this damage from years and years yeah. and years of frowning or laying in the sun, whatever. You've got to be it's patient. It works, yeah. but you've got to do it. Yeah. And you were saying as well before that, um, so that particular product, even though you thought it would work and be mm -hmm. a really valuable product it took around eight weeks yeah minimum eight weeks before you yeah. started and mm. um as with any case when you um and just for for general purposes whenever you do invest in a new skincare line it's always worth taking a, a selfie mm. um because we don't notice gradual changes until yes. someone that you haven't seen in a while says oh my god what are you doing you look yeah. fantastic yeah. Yeah. yeah um but that doesn't always happen That's, so that doesn't happen <laughs> 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 you think heard that <laughs> you <bastards. laughs> So take a photo, yeah. um, and then look at it again after eight weeks. And that's what mm -hmm. we did on Glyco's website. We've got the eight-week trial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and again, we mentioned this in the last video, but I picked four women that were already using good quality cosmeceutical mm -hmm. um, skincare, and I wanted to see how much further we could yeah. take it in yeah. just a short time. Because a lot of people see those types of before and after photos, and they think, oh, this is a person that's not using any skincare mm. versus yes. using yes. actives. Of course there's going to be a difference, yep. but yeah. you're actually taking people Correct. with good skincare yeah. routines and seeing how far and beyond yeah. your products can be. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I think it's, it's a, it is a, it's, it's frustrating that we are, and I'm the same thing where, where I sort of got the mentality of, I want it to happen overnight. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And especially if you're paying a lot of money for a yeah. product, you're like, why? Well, this should be Hurry working by now. Yeah. And, yeah, and yeah. you can go and you know get a jab, and mm. then after three or four days, you see the results. Yeah, um, I think a lot of people lose patience with products that you do have to see eight weeks. And I think in our industry, and you'd know this as well, mm. we so see so many people that discount products as being bad products yeah. or not working because they don't they use it for a week result. and they're like, there's yeah. no changes. What? So I think, you know, I, it makes perfect sense yeah. why you haven't brought that out because, but it's unfortunate because yeah. it could help a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it out just for Just me. put it in jam <laughs> jar. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just Look. call up the, the lab. Just pour the girls like a liter each. Look, we'll just pay tell us where it, we have to fly fine. and we'll, we'll go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I can see what I can do. I no, think, we're not holding you to it. No, no. <laughs> I, I do think that there is a 
a very high level of impatience mm. when it comes to getting results um, yeah. with skincare. And I, I mean, I understand it because yeah. when I notice something, I'm like, fix it now. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. make it go away now. Because it is upsetting to mm. see that yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's kind of upsetting to face yeah. the aging because mm. you're facing your own mortality. And I think the thing mm. is, is when you, like, Catch us, you know, you go and have Botox and you literally you're, yeah, you're yeah, sort instant. of, yeah. but you still need to be using good skincare. Yes, Otherwise, yeah. other things are going to happen over yeah. time that, you know, yeah. you're going to have to go to, a, you know, end up having a facelift for twenty, thirty thousand yeah. dollars Yes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because there's yeah. only so yeah. much. Well, it's even like facials too. It's like, you know, you can have facials, but then you also need to be consecutive with your skincare yeah, routine. Absolutely. And yeah. a lot of beauty therapists, through my experience. Yeah. They will do a phenomenal treatment, yeah. but they won't prescribe them anything. Yeah. They just send them home. You know, they, they, know. they ask I'm like, them. I want to be prescribed yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Tell me what like, I need, yeah. and I'll buy it. But it's yeah. like, you know, I went to the, got back from a cruise recently, and I was, well, not very well, so I went to my doctor, um, and, you know, she prescribed antibiotics. And mm. if she had said, oh, yeah, just continue taking vitamin C, mm. Yeah. I would have thought, well, hang on a minute. No, I'm dying. Can you yeah. not see yeah. that? Yeah. Can you Look not at see? me. <laughs> Do you so, not see what's happening here? And I've used that example mm. before where you go to a doctor and they will prescribe something if they feel that you need yeah. a yeah. prescription for yeah. whatever. Mm. So when you go to a skin specialist and yeah. they're looking at your skin and performing a facial and asking yeah. questions and yeah. and you turn around and say, I'm using this and that from the supermarket and they're you know, they're, they're they're highlighting all the cons- yeah. concerns that they can see with your skin. Mm. The least they can do is say, right, I would start with these products yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah. see you in a, mu- in a couple of months' time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think there's a fine line, though, and this is where it's about going to someone that you trust because, yeah. like, I hate going to hairdressers and they're like, you need this and this and this, and I'm like, I've got... 14 of those at home yeah. like so yeah. there's that yeah. element of are they just trying to make a buck and make yeah. their commission yeah. or are they actually trying to help me out so i think it's yeah it's good to go to places that yeah. you know won't be pushy but yeah. will suggest things that you actually need yeah, yeah. And it's how they yeah. deliver it as yeah. well yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. if um if you said to me you, you're using xyz and i was familiar with those products i might yeah. say look i think you're on mm. a really good you know regimen at at this mm-hmm. point in time, mm-hmm. I would just add this product in yeah, here, which yeah. is good. And I've always said to, to clients, don't you know finish what you're using first. Don't yeah. waste your products. As you run out of that, then you can introduce yeah. what I'm recommending. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I think that's a fair. Way. I think yeah, that's yeah. a good yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah. I mean, skincare mm. is expensive. Yeah. And you don't want to be throwing the money mm. away. No. So, and it's yeah. unreasonable for like an Estee Lauder counter person to be like. And you Everything. need this shampoo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And that was, yeah, yeah I bought a bought it. Yeah. yeah. Don't know, but, but you've still got your hair, so. Yeah. 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 Maybe so it maybe it was. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe it was that kickstart. Maybe, yeah. maybe it was. Yeah. All right, so we've gone off on a little bit of a tangent. Let's recap uh, deep lines. What can we do for deep lines other than botox yeah or so like, so if we're looking yeah. at going on a treatment plan yeah um to do with deep lines uh, we certainly want to bring in the retinol okay the, yeah the, the, the that's vitamin definitely a. retinol that's level. non-negotiable yeah non-negotiable right. non-negotiable yeah. this is what we want to hear yeah yeah also we want to um exfoliate with a um preferably a glycolic yeah. um liquid exfoliator yeah actually while we're here talking about glycolic exfoliating why is it better over a salicylic for anti-aging. Yes, yeah, so a salicylic um, acid, which is a, the only beta hydroxy acid mm. there yes. is. So um, a glycolic's an AHA. Correct. Salicylic <clears throat> is a BHA. Correct. And they are Often both. Used for breakouts. Yeah, they're both yeah. acids, and they both exfoliate. But one is better for anti-aging. And so, one's better for breakouts. Yeah, so salicylic acid um, is um, more of a gentler ex- exfoliator. Mm. Yeah. Um, but it's phenomenal because it actually gets inside our pores and keeps them clean. Yeah, okay. I always visualise like a dust mat, little mini mm. dust man going inside the big bin and sweeping get it, it out. Get it out, yeah. get it out. And yeah. keeping it clean. Yeah. Um, the Which only... is what you need for breakouts. Yeah, yeah. Yes. exactly. I do love a bit of salicylic. Yeah, yeah. but even if, you, uh, even if you've got a little bit of sun damage at, um, skin mm. as well, I mean, it's really good for that. And it's mm-hmm. really good if people can't can't tolerate glycolics. Yeah. Okay, yep. Because no matter which acid you use, if the pH is right, uh, not right, you're not yep. going to get a yeah. good result anyway. Okay, yep. So we formulate our products on um, 3.5, which mm-hmm. is um, 
the sort of the lowest you can go for over the counter. Okay. Um, yeah. And that's effective um, for exfoliation to occur. The only other thing you need to remember with salicylic acid is from the aspirin family. Mm -hmm. So if you're allergic to aspirin or a pregnant or yeah. breastfeeding, you need okay. to be you need to see you your practitioner be before yeah. you start using it. All right. Um, that's the only thing about that. You can definitely use BHA products with AHA products mm. because yeah. they do. Um, they kind of tag different. team. They're, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're like they sisters. Slightly mm. different, but they can complement each other. I heard someone say last week on TV. Um, eyebrows are sisters, they're not, not twins. twins. They're yeah. not meant to be, yeah, yeah, I'd not heard that before, and I yeah. thought it was quite And that's yeah. basically <clears throat> what AHA and BHA are like as well. They're like sisters, yeah. Yeah, so and they work related. similarly, yeah. or they work in a they're similar way. They're both exfoliators, yeah. but they work differently in the yeah. skin. Yeah. Um, and as I mentioned before, the glycolic acid actually um, penetrates the skin quite mm. rapidly. Yeah. It helps stimulate collagen. Mm. Uh, it does so much more from an anti-aging perspective. So um, if you're not going to use both, then I would definitely start with mm. an AHA product. Yeah. And within the alpha hydroxy family, glycolic is the most well known, mm -hmm. but there are mm. other um, lactic acids, malic okay, acids. Yeah. There's different forms out there, but you find glycolic, glycolic mm -hmm. is readily available. Mm -hmm. Most well known. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you can get at different price points as well. So Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. you're not yeah. limited by needing to get like the most bougie makeup. Mm. You you can find it at most yeah. price points. Yeah. Mm. yeah. All right, so retinol. Yeah, now we, I haven't talked about cleansing because we know that everyone should cleanse twice yeah, a day. Wash your anyway, face. <laughs> uh, wash your face, yeah, because yeah. otherwise any, anything else we're telling yeah. you is going to be um, irrelevant. So yeah. uh, we want to cleanse, we want to exfoliate. If you're using a liquid exfoliator, if it's your first time, perhaps start three days, you know, three mm. nights a week. Yeah. And then you want to, you know, build it up. Um, our new Skin Brilliance is designed and formulated to be used on a daily basis yep. right. um, because it respects the skin's yep. ecosystem okay, um, cool. and therefore there's less chance of... I sort love of, a good respect. Oh, I was just about to say product. that. Yeah. I love skincare that is respect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll take one, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, so you want to get that to a, a, a daily application. Yeah. Um, now, if you're using a glycolic liquid um, or pads or whatever, mm -hmm. um, you don't necessarily need to use granular scrubs. Mm. Okay, yeah. Um, because you're getting the exfoliating ben benefits from the liquid. So, right. um, also, any serums that you use are going to have better penetration gonna, yep. after using yep. a, a liquid it, solution. Because you've got a nice, like, smooth... Yeah, Based it's got rid of all those dead in. skin cells, yeah. the pathways are, are yeah. clean, and the serums mm -hmm. can go straight into yeah. the skin. And so your serum might be mm -hmm. your retinol? Your retinol serum for night, for day, I would absolutely, without um, hesitation, bring in a C product, yeah. vitamin mm -hmm. C product, preferably ascorbic acid. Yes. Um, and we were mentioning this before, ascorbic acid is, is one of the best forms of vitamin mm. C to use in skincare. Unfortunately, it oxidizes really quick. Yes. So if it doesn't come in an airless jar or a dark, you know, um, dropper bottle, yep. um, probably it don't buy it. Because okay. it yep. will oxidize really quickly. Yep. Actually, um, some of the brands out there have um, like ordinary skin suit yep. they have one. So um, every time you open the the, even if it's in a dark bottle and you keep it in the cupboard, every yeah. time you open yeah. it, it oxidizes. It right. So if it's, if it's a 20% vitamin C, you can almost be assured by the time you get down the bottom, it's probably only got a 5% concentration uh, through the air getting into it. Yeah. yeah, But that's why I use an airless pump. Yeah, so yes, yeah. we yeah. love an airless pump. Yes. And his new vitamin C product has an, has airless, an pump. airless pump. Yeah. Speaking of things I love, yeah. Yeah. your new vitamin C serum. Yeah. Moisturizer, sorry. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yes, yeah. actually, Darren did release a vitamin C moisturizer recently. Yeah. We're going to talk about it at the end yeah. of the video. Yeah, it's it's heavy duty. He and also good. has glycolic products yeah. his whole brand is based around yeah. that um well i'd worked in you know when i had um my previous business we had a store we had treatments going on and so forth so and i worked with over 70 brands mm. so i was exposed to a lot of skin conditions and yeah. a lot of yeah. products and formulations and i kind of knew where to you know to steer customers in in yeah. dealing with their skin concerns mm -hmm. and issues yeah um so when i created my brand i kind of knew straight away what you i did what want and what i did yeah. and the yeah. biggest thing for me um it's it's you know never over promise and under deliver but mm. more important when it comes to formulations we can we can create all these wonderful and use these wonderful active ingredients but if we're going to take someone's skin um, out of its comfort zone, so we can correct and make positive changes. Yeah. We need to remember that we're we're respecting that mm. organ as well. Yes. So that's yeah. why our retinol is a lipid replenishing um, oil consistency. Yeah. So we're using it. So yeah, it's it's really So while it's you're so using good. it, yeah. it's 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 helping to mm. repair um, yeah. the lipid barrier 
because often what happens with vitamin A concentrate is yeah. you get quite dry and flaky. Yeah. Yeah. The retinol because oil. So the oil will help keep yeah. you a bit more hydrated Ex- as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and it's great for all skin types. So, mm. um, so that's really important to glyco is yeah. making sure our formulas are sort of balanced. Balanced, yeah. And yeah. That, that's important. Because yeah. you quoted a statistic uh, off camera before. Yes. Yeah. So in America, um, 60% of people that visit a dermatologist about their skin issues um, were directly related to poorly formulated irritating ingredients. So poorly wow. formulated products with irritating ingredients. Yeah. 60%. That's huge. And we were also talking yeah. about before, as consumers, we put a lot of faith and a lot of trust in big brands yeah. because they're out in their face. So if Mary and you know your best friend's using it and, and it's always mm. in the magazines, and you just trust that their products are, are, are well mm. formulated or yeah. formulated correctly. And that's not always the case, yeah. as I've experienced firsthand yeah. with working with so many brands. And so, yeah, mm. do you, you know, do you research? Do you research? Yeah. 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 Can I just, okay, this is sort of a little bit off topic, but I, I know that a, an old school mentality is uh, to prevent aging or to get rid of lines, you just use more moisturizer. Mm. And I remember a few people from our last video commented going, oh shit, I just thought moisturizer did everything. What, like, why do we need all these serums and what does actually moisturiser just do for your fine lines and wrinkles? Because I just, my mum's generation is, mm. just put more moisturiser on and it plumps it up. Yeah, yeah. my mum's like yeah, that Yeah, my mum was like that too. And then I educated her. Yeah. <laughs> but also in those days, they didn't really have serums. Yeah. yeah. No. It was just cleansing, it's, toning and moisturising. It's, it's yeah. Clinic's famous three steps. Yeah. Three step. um, it's, yeah. It's actually, serums are... A modern invention. Yeah. yeah. My mum literally yes. asked me one day, what's the serum? Because yeah. she just yeah. didn't know what it was or yeah. what it does. Yeah. But what, yeah. what, okay, so if you were only using a moisturiser, what is that doing to your skin? So moisturisers um, primarily are working on the epidermis, which is our outer layer of the skin. Mm-hmm. Um, and there are certainly some ingredients within the moisturiser that will go deeper into the skin, but primarily they're designed to, you know, Sort of make things feel better, hydrate the skin, yeah. plump the skin, um, and Reduce also to reduce dry patches and yeah. Mm. Yeah. even skin tone and things like yeah. that. So, again, it depends on the moisturizer. Um, in saying that, so like our vitamin C, a brightening cream that we recently launched, the focal point is the C. Mm. And I just want to mention that because L ascorbic acid is very unstable, mm. yes. Um, so, this cream is really designed to help with pigmentation yeah. or mm-hmm. hyperpigmentation and even skin tone and so mm. forth. So, whereas all our other moisturizers and the, the same yeah. with other brands, it's really good to bring a lot of ingredients together yeah. Yeah. if you physically can. Yes, yeah. If, yeah. if science allows. Yeah. Um, but ultimately, moisturizers are protecting your skin. Yeah. They're locking your serums as well. That's yes. what I was going to yeah. say. Yeah, I feel yeah. like they're kind of locking everything yeah. else in. Absolutely. So, in this day and age, knowing what we've just discussed about like environmental factors being even worse in terms of making us age faster mm. a moisturizer simply isn't enough it's not enough no and i would it would be neglect from me mm. if i was talking to uh, a male or a female who was in their 40s and mm. they had a list of concerns with their skin and you for said me, just, say, just use a moisturizer yeah here's your yeah. cleanser and moisturizer off you go because it's not enough they're not going to get yeah. the results. Yeah. End of yeah. story. I kind of feel like for me, like the serum kind of targets a specific concern. Correct. Mm. So if yep. it's like wrinkles or blemishes or so, so and so, and then the moisturizer is just there to kind of keep your skin hydrated yeah. and kind of lock everything else Correct. in. That's how, yep. unless it's like a treatment moisturizer. So the serum is sort of like a sock. And the shoe is your moisturiser. If that's how you want to put it. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> and not many people yeah. like to go outside and just walk around in socks. Yeah. No. Not or, me. Or would you say that the serum is like the bra? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the, the serum work. is the yeah. bra um, and the, the t-shirt is the moisturiser yeah. that yeah. covers it up. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. and keeps you protected yes. from... Keeps it in. Yeah. Keeps it all in. Keeps it in. Yeah. I, I, yeah. They, they do work hand in hand. Yeah. The serums and the moisturizer. Yeah. And as I said before, um, you know, not enough people invest in their serums. Mm. Yeah. And Simon's right. A lot of serums yeah. are formulated to target a, mm. specific, a specific issue. Whereas a moisturizer yeah. will have a, 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 usually an abundance of ingredients yeah. in there yeah. um, to do a lot of that sort of you know surface repair work and, and so forth. But yeah. Yeah. Surface repair doesn't cut it when it comes to... Aging. No. Oh, no. you hungry? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Look, we're getting there. Um, 
Okay, so deep wrinkles, definitely going to need an exfoliator. Yep, your vitamin Chemical A. Chemical exfoliator is the best yep. way to go. Glycolic or vitamin something like A. that. Yes, vitamin 100%. A. Vitamin C. Vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what happens when you're using those products and you feel like you've hit a wall? Like... When do you know you've been using okay. it for long enough? All right. So if you're using um, either a you know a high strength cosmeceutical range or a medical grade range such as ours um, for long term, you would absolutely see an improvement to your skin. Yeah. And most mm. people will get to a point where they actually feel comfortable with their skin. Yeah. Mm. They don't necessarily need to go any further. But if you feel that you need you want that flawless tight looking. Yeah. Then you you know you have the option of injectables. Yeah, you've um, got to go further. But you can also before that you can also try treatments, some salon treatments. There's a lot of you know new machines out there like yeah. Fraxel and yeah. lasers, or dermabrasion yeah. and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. So you can try that um, injectables. The last resort is going to be surgery, but I guess right. it depends on how you know. Mm. Ultimately, we want to look. We still our want, age or yeah, younger, yeah. right? Yeah. We, we don't still want, want to look like ourselves, yeah, just, just the best that we can be. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And, yeah. and feel comfortable mm. and confident. And that's yeah. where we want to get all our customers to, yeah. so they do look younger yeah. than what they really are. And mm. we've proven that we can do that. Mm. Yeah. But there is still only so far you can go with yeah. Yeah. Over-the-counter yeah. products, that's right. So it's you know, only, only so mm. far. But technology is you know, coming along. And one thing I want to add to all this that we're talking about today is from Glyco's perspective, we categorize functional um, mm. ingredients um, under corrective or cosmetic. And I right. want to, uh, the reason I want to talk about that, there are a lot of cosmetic ingredients in skincare products that give you an instant mm. um, result, but it's only a cosmetic. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, it might just give you sort of... The blurring. Yeah, the yeah. Blurring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it does border on to going into sort of makeup ingredients yeah. to, to a degree, mm. but they're in skincare. Okay. Um, yeah. Whereas corrective ingredients, so they work pretty much straight away. Yeah, they give you that mm. instant look, look, but they also wash off. They wash yeah. off, yeah. yeah. Whereas something like corrective ingredients, so all the vitamins we spoke about before and glycolic and mm. so forth, they actually do correction in the skin, yeah. but they take yeah. time to get yeah. the full... Mm benefits yeah. actually how long should people be using a routine before they judge it minimum eight weeks there you go minimum and take a photo before and after do you yeah. know what's really interesting is a lot of people and this is more and i know we're going to be talking about acne in another video yeah. but i found people with acneic skins were the um high the, the highest people that would chop and change mm. fast yeah. because they're so conscious of yeah. the way they look and feel that they, they give that product such a short time to work yeah. exactly yeah. Yeah. and they chop and change and it's actually the worst thing you can do mm. for your skin yeah because you got to remember every product's got anywhere from you know 10 to 50 ingredients yeah and if you switch from one product to another your skin's not even used to all those yeah. ingredients yeah. it's trying to get used to those ones yeah, yeah. and you end up with flare-ups and yeah. before you know it you're at the dermatologist yeah yeah, yeah. but um and i think also that I think people with acne skin as well, because acne can clear up pretty quickly, yeah. they have the, and I know I'm a little bit like this and I'm like this from like probably my younger years, you're like, okay, if I'm not seeing it work almost overnight, mm. yeah. I know things do work overnight, so I'm going to do the next go, thing. Yeah. Right. But yeah. when you're dealing with deeper down issues, mm. not just the surface blemishes and whatnot, mm. you do have to give it another go. And it's important what you were saying before about taking a before and after photo mm. because with skincare, if you, you were saying before off camera, if you're looking in the mirror every, every day, day you don't see the subtle yeah. differences yeah. Mm. so it's best to sort of um you know maybe look at a photo from christmas and then yeah. go okay well compared to that i actually look a lot better yeah. yeah so you know you may be getting differences but not thinking you're seeing not the differences yeah. 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 not registering them because yeah. you're seeing it happen slowly mm. over time yeah, yeah that's right yeah. Yeah. yeah you don't notice them yeah yeah um all right there is another thing that comes with aging and this is probably a really hard one what happens when your skin actually starts to sag mm. well we're we're challenged with gravity unfortunately yeah. so fuck that so, gravity so always just lie down <laughs> yeah just lie lie down. down constantly or do do a batman and hang up you know, yeah, upside down. Down. upside yeah. down yeah. Okay, cool. so, uh. so that's the, and that's why you'll see mainly with men and women but generally more so with women they yeah. start to get the sagging around yeah, the mouth the jowls, the jowls yeah. that's right um, and that is a gravity mm -hmm. issue 
Um, okay, so with regards to that, um, I would um, definitely start, and I know this might sound silly, but start doing more facial movements. Massaging. It, yeah. Massaging is really important. Um, and also, um, you know, you, apart from some skincare um, products we spoke about before, which would yeah. also be great for so the, saving skin. Um, the retinol, the glycolics, vitamin C. Peptides. Yeah. Yeah. All those wonderful ingredients will, will help. Now, let's also be clear what we said about wrinkles before. No product's going to get rid of mm. a wrinkle. Yes. No product is going to lift yeah. the skin. Okay. Put, put the right. skin back on yeah. the bones. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. So Damn it. We confirm. Yet. Yet. Can we yet. 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 There will be a disclaimer yet at the end. Yet. yet. Um, Wait 100 years. Yeah. yeah. I know, right? So that's why we, we sort of use words like tightening and firming yeah. because we can do it certainly and I know a lot of brands use the word lifting as well yeah, mm. but it's microscopically not we can sort of take it that little bit up, but for the for the eye yeah. it's yeah mm. it's not a huge difference but yeah. because we're firming and, and I guess tightening mm. that area yeah. it does give that appearance yeah that's a more lifted look. Mm. But massage is really important. I'm a big fan of galvanic treatments. Yes. And you can get some really good digital ones for home like home use that are just as good as some And they're ones. Um, like some that I've seen, they've got like little, they look like little metal balls. Yeah, I've, I've seen those ones. Yeah. yeah, actually I've been watching, do you remember Trini from Trini? Yes. I love Trini. I do. Yeah. I watch all yeah. their videos. Yeah. I love yeah. her yeah. so you much. See? Yeah, she's, yeah. I just, she's just I love addictive. Her. She's great. When she puts her cream on, she puts like five layers yeah. of <laughs> and she's really that's another thing you know not to stretch your skin yeah, yeah. there's yeah. a way to put products on yeah, yeah. I'm never rough with my skin yeah. you've got to be yeah. really gentle um, but I see Trini doing this and yeah then, and she then, does it really rough yeah and yeah. Um, wow. so she's going to love Trini, that. Oh, I love yeah. Trini on that note let's talk about ways of preventing sagging yeah. so, yes please yes please <laughs> So obviously if you're starting your skincare at a younger age and you're using sun protection Sorry. because um, without the sun protection, the UV is mm. going to damage our collagen yeah. and elastin. Yeah. Um, and and collagen and elastin are pretty much the things that keep us plump the and tight, right? That's right. Yeah. So we can stimulate collagen through ingredients. There's yeah. not much we can do with elastin. <gasps> so if you think of elastin... Oh, God. Sort of, yeah. That's not what I want to hear, Darren. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> that disclaimer is coming at the end. I'm going to get those um, drag queen things where they put the tape and then oh, they yeah. put it. Oh, Jane yeah. Fonda had that when oh, she did really? that yeah. in the, um, Grace and Frankie. Oh, yeah. yeah. And she took them off and, yeah. 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 I want to do it. Yeah, I yeah. love oh. Jane Fonda. In China, they have these um, sort of um, material things with holes and you yes. put them here oh, and they go around your ears. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's again, you're constantly yeah. doing this. Yeah. But, um, so for example, with our neck cream, we, we educate our customers to do long with me. I was going to bring solutions. up your neck cream, actually. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Um, People just um, just assume because we have an iron neck cream yeah. that we're out to sell iron neck mm. creams. But I want to be really specific. <laughs> yes. yeah. No, I want to be you really... You actually have done studies with these products, haven't mm. you? We have. With a lot of our products, we've done clinical studies. But what I want to say is I've always advocated... Mm to people that if you don't need an iron neck cream, you don't you buy don't an iron. Yeah. I, I brought those need products. One, so why would I buy it? Mm. But my mum on the other hand. Yeah, so yeah. this exactly she would love it. So when you start to see or when you've um, you've got that sort of the crepiness going mm. on, the sun damage, um, the, yeah. the loss of firmness, um, you've kind of the damage is there, yeah. it's visible. Mm. That's why I brought the cream out because yeah. it's really designed to mm. really tighten that area as much as we can yeah. um, and firm it up. So, yeah. and the texture of the neck cream is designed, it, um, it's got a lot of oils in there, so you yeah. can spend time doing those massage movements. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's all going to help. Stretching yeah. Without stretching the skin. Without stretching the skin, that's yeah. right. So, and the skin on the neck is different. To the skin, to the skin on the side. It doesn't, um, the skin around our eyes and our neck, yeah. area, it's all the same. It just has, doesn't have the same support structure. Yeah. Right. So yeah. the eye area, I mean, obviously you can feel it's your bone. Thinner. It's yeah. a lot thinner. Yeah. Um, our neck area certainly doesn't have anywhere near the support structure yeah. as our face. So mm -hmm. that's why with women, yeah. they tend to, you know, age, yeah. especially the Queensland ladies. Yeah, like, yeah it's it's because, because they the don't damage a lot of chest. Time. But can we yeah. say... Rewinding a little bit, if you're not wanting to get to that stage where you need the neck Some creams, mm. you can take your skincare Seriously? down. Yeah. Oh, you should. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh. I feel like... It's head to boobies, girls. Yes. Yeah. I feel like... Okay. Do, you, do your skincare nudies. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Head yeah. to boobies in the nudies. Yeah. All right? 
I remember, I, <laughs> I remember the one. first time I looked at my mum and I thought, her chest looks older than her face. Yes. Yeah. And then the hands at the other place. And the hands. Yeah, hands and then well. I always thought, that's really sad because, like, my mum, she's beautiful mm. and, you know. Love Jenny. Yeah, she's we do great. Love, love me, your mum. But yeah, yeah, she's great. Yeah. But then I noticed. I noticed on me. I noticed it on my chest. Yeah, and I, I, I flipped a table. <laughs> I got what? all of my did serum. Did you have a tantrum? <laughs> I did. Did you have a tantrum? <laughs> I had a she full does tantrum. tantrum. I so what did you notice? Tell me, what did you notice? What, it looks dark. Yeah. So yeah, it looks, I noticed discoloration. It's, 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 yeah. It looks like it it's... Looks Almost spottier. Yes, yeah. spottier. Um, and, and it now, has a, an always sort of pinkish tinge, mm. like it, it got kissed it's by angry. the sun. It's yeah. angry. It's angry. It's skin. angry at Hayley. So yeah. after I it. flipped the table, I started to do. <laughs> Is that on YouTube? No, uh, unfortunately. Uh, uh, I uh, I started to do head to boobies in the yeah. nudie skincare. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> But, but you have important. to do it. Yeah. And it's so important, guys. Yeah. When I you always bring it down to my neck. Can I yeah. also say that if you don't do it in the nudies, at least do it in a bra because you forget. <laughs> yeah. If you're in you a do. t-shirt, yeah. you don't do it. You don't go... Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you don't do it. No one sits there and goes, like, this at the end of the day. You don't no, do you it. don't do it. To remind yourself, yeah. no, no, I don't. I always do skincare. Like, no. I put my undies on. Yeah. <laughs> but then I do the skincare. Yeah, but that's what people should be doing. Yeah. Often, you know, you... I think a lot of the time with... Okay, for me personally, I get out of the shower and I'll have a towel around my body and then I go into my bedroom where I do my skincare Mm. um, and I put my hair in the towel and Mm. I put a dressing gown on and then I do my face. Yeah. Mm. And I never... Ever forget. remember to do the chest? Yes. Well, now yeah. you will. Yeah. Because you've now seen, you yeah. you started to I've see. I started to see yeah. it, yeah. and mm. you know, I feel like it was one of those things that you don't, you don't realize it's taking damage until it's damaged, mm. and then yeah. you're like, "Fuck." Well, yeah. on the, let's. Can we just talk because this, it's a big area, right? Yeah, it is. Um, so some people that are using, um, you know, high grade or expensive skincare yes. might be reluctant. To yes, yes. Go, and it, I have that issue as it well. It hurts okay. me. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, the best advice I can give you is the way I like to educate people to use mm. products. Now, I um, there are brands out there that say, you know, don't put products, you know, don't rub products because of your hand yeah. or organ. Yeah. To me, that's bullshit. Okay. Um, mm. What you're going to do is you're going to find that if you warm a, a product up, it's and, gonna like a cream, mm. yeah. you're going to be able to... Press it on first yep. and then yep. blend it in. Okay. That's so you're going to get better spread. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also better for an oilier skin as yeah. well because they they just want a thin layer yeah. of product. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but obviously if you've got uh, a dry skin, you just use a little bit more. But it's the same with your serum. Mm. So no, I, a few drops, press it in and then blend it through and yeah. then the yeah. moisturizer. I put my serums on the back of my hand and then I put it on. And then yeah, you could do it that way as yeah. well. And know. then the back that's of your hands are also yeah. being treated. Exactly. And that's another area, like you said yeah. earlier, you notice aging, yeah, because not many people hands, put sunscreen yeah. on yeah. their hands. Yeah, I do. I always put sunscreen I on my tr- hands. I, I try, but you know, I mean, Look, I've got freckles. Anyway, I'm terrible. But... Um, the, <laughs> I other thing, the other thing as well, and, and a lot of brands, including Glyco, will say once you put your cream on, mm. um, excess put on the yeah. back yeah. of your hands. I find my secret to, to my hands are so young. They um, are. My, my secret to, and I will say this is not. I don't make a hand cream, but I have. I, I will not give up my cues or yeah. hand cream. Yeah. You love it? <gasps> yeah. I just find, and the thing with hand cream is I can't use them during the day because I just the don't like cream. it. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm the That's same. Fair. This one here does sink in beautifully. So if yeah. you want a rich repairing mm. hand cream and to be able to use it during the day, it's great because it does absorb. Yeah. yeah. But my secret or the way I do hand cream is it's on the side of my bed and yeah. it's the last thing I do when I yeah. get to bed. Yeah, that, I, I do, do that, that as well. Yeah. Yeah, that is the best I thing. also do that with my feet because yeah. I have eczema. My feet will look like fucking baby's feet when I die because they yeah. get moisturised mm. and treated better more than any other area, mm. my, wow, area really? of my body. What because I'm trying to use... I, usually I only use things that are like um, designed to treat um, eczema. eczema. But I also put serums on my feet. Mm. There's a... I read on the plane... Oh, where did I read it? Today. Um, I'll Google. Um, there's a, um American 
uh, brand that's um, coming to Australia through Chemist Warehouse. Right. That's oh, is phenomenal. That Cera- not CeraVe? Yeah. Yeah, Oh, I just read oh, that really? about that today. Yeah, it's coming. For eczema. Yeah. 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 I've so, heard that it's very good. Yeah, so yeah. give that a go. Yeah. Yeah. Chemist Warehouse. Hasn't launched it. Like they said Chemist it's, Warehouse. It's any day now. And yeah. with regards to advanced aging, yeah. so deep lines and wrinkles mm. and lots of firm and sagging yeah. and so forth, um, it's really important that um, you know you be not just be diligent with your skincare, but that you're using you know a broad variety Actives. of ingredients yeah. of active ingredients, yeah. and that you're following um, every step. So so like I, I developed Ritual RX, yeah. which is which is our methodology mm-hmm. for doing as much as you can to correct. Yeah, Agent. so it's kind of like Clinique's three-step, except better, better, it's more advanced. and for people mm. with serious aging. Exactly, because science. we want to we want to tackle every element that's mm. caused the aging. Yeah. So obviously, you know, so you know the sun. Yeah. And so mm. forth. So that's why exfoliation um, and serums and creams and so forth and being you know, mm. so forth. Yeah. So you you really have to put in the hard work if you want to see the results. Yeah, you do. You have to, yeah. Well, you have to commit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, otherwise it's a long term no relationship. It is. It, I I always look at skincare as the long term yeah. relationship. But you it's like, are, a, like a diet. You have to stick yeah. to it. Yeah, you have to, to work. That's exactly. Right. Yeah, and you know? yeah, and on that note, a lot of people don't turn to skin to skincare until the damage yeah. all the damage yeah. is done. Yeah. Um, so and then even hmm. more so, you have to put in the effort to hmm. make things yeah. work. And even our five step, you know, Ritual RX, you know, it's four in the morning, five at night, vice yeah. versa, whatever. It still only takes you know two, three minutes. That's what I was yeah. going to say. It actually doesn't take no. that long. No. But it, it's about forming a habit. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. Um, unless you've got the habit formed, yeah, it, yeah, it, you need you, to form you, a you habit. Get it. Yeah. For sure. But you yeah. need to keep at it until yeah, that habit's formed, and then it's hard to not do yeah, it. That's right. Yeah. Um, but okay, so with the sagging skin, it's the products, and then also. The, the massage. Do massaging. some massage. Yeah. And you can invest in, um, like, you know, galvanic yeah. um, devices if you wish. I mean, a lot of people use cleansing brushes these days, and they're, mm. they're phenomenal. And don't forget that that actually falls under, even though it's a cleansing brush, it's actually exfoliating the skin. Yes, yeah. Um, even though they'll say until they're blue in the face that it's not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that, it is. It, it is. Even yeah. a hand. Yeah. Even a hand. Um, like a flannel. Flannel. Yeah. 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 Is yeah. going to yeah. offer yeah. some form of exfoliation. Yeah. And it's important not to over exfoliate yeah. be gentle with the skin yeah. that's exactly right yeah. so no yeah know your limits so yeah. if you if you're using a cleansing brush um, then perhaps you may not necessarily need to use the glycolic mm. every day if, yeah. Um, yeah but where I, what I was going with that was is in terms of devices um, the sonic action of the brush mm. yeah. creates blood flow, so it yeah. oxygenates yeah. the yeah. skin. Um, so I need to be better at using my Clarisonic is what yeah. you're telling yeah. me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. All I right. right. When I get brush. home. I will use it more often. Yeah. Mm. Noted. <laughs> In the nudies. Head <laughs> to boobies. <laughs> but see, this is the thing. Yeah. If you if you came to me and you haven't looked after your skin and you've seen, you've got all this visible damage. Yeah. I'm not going to turn around and say, okay, you need to cleanse, you need to do this, you need yeah, to do yeah. this, and we've got to clarify it, and three, we've got to go back. Because you won't yeah. do it. No, no. Yeah. it's too much. So, it's just too adding much. on what, like, Hayley's yeah. got a very good skincare routine, so it's yeah. like, oh, you've got a Clarisonic. Mm. Yeah. It does help. You should yeah. use yeah. it. Yeah. 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 And that's what I did with mum. You know, like, mum was like, look at me. And I'm like, it's okay, mum. There's huh. stuff we can do. And you just introduce things mm. slowly. Start slowly. And, you know, up. and she's yeah. like, oh, I think this is working. Is there more I can do? Yes, mum. Yeah. You've leveled Welcome. up. Yeah. 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 Now you are ready for this. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, I suppose, start yeah. small. If you've yeah. got the damage and build yourself up, absolutely build that routine. And I certainly take would, responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. even if you're someone that's been using skincare from a department store, which is you know not necessarily as active yeah. as mm. a lot of cosmeceutical brands, um, you don't necessarily want to jump ship in one go because it might be too much mm. risk. Yeah. And if you get a reaction or something happens, then you get put off, and then you yeah, it can you feel be like scary. Yeah. And, yeah, so yeah, it just yeah. just yeah. baby steps. Okay. Um, mm. Yeah. All right. Good. Baby steps. Baby steps. Mm. Now, what about things like pigmentation yep. and like texture, that rough mm. sort of bumpy texture that skin can get? So, or just even that sort of like, it doesn't feel plump, it just feels yeah. Yeah, and it doesn't feel smooth or yeah. soft. 
So that can be a combination of dry skin and or lack of exfoliation. Okay. Mm. And this is why I keep going back to finding a really good alpha hydroxy, mm. you know, glycolic yeah. product yeah. is because it's gonna take dissolve that it's dead skin do cells. That yeah. for you, we can also develop congestion through you know products that might not be suitable for your yeah. skin. Um and, or, you know, as I said, not, not exfoliating enough. So okay. you can get clogged pores and things like yeah. that. So again, regular exfo like exfoliation is, is super important. It's, yeah. And mm. again when I was saying before about everything slows down as we get older, so when our, in a young person in their 20s, yeah. their cell cycle is like 28 days. So that's yeah. from when the cells are born, travels away to the top, yeah. nice and fall round, off. they go flat and they fall off themselves yeah. quite easily. Right. But it, because our, as we age, everything starts to slow down, we need to help our skin. Yeah. Um, and what ends up happening is if you don't exfoliate regularly, mm -hmm. if you just imagine like building a house, you've got yeah. brick, you know, dead skin cells yeah. on top of each other. So, you know, people go out buying moisturizers and they're not doing anything. They've got dry skin and they're still full dry. It's because yeah. it can't do what Nothing it's meant to do. Nothing can get in there. It can't get yeah. past a layer exactly. of crap. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to get rid of those dead skin cells yeah. so yeah. our products can work and so perform better for exfoliating us. exfoliating regularly mm. is important. It's really important. And yeah. also remember glycolic acid does actually help with pigmentation. Mm. Yeah. And then I'll be looking at a high dose concentrated vitamin C mm. cream yeah. if it's pigmentation. I mean, vitamin C as an antioxidant mm. should be part of your, um, you know, your routine. And it helps with regimen. collagen as well, yeah. doesn't it's, it? It helps to yeah. stimulate collagen as mm. well. Um, so double benefits there. Yeah. We're using, um, and it can get rid of that dullness as mm. well. So yeah. I would say that one of the biggest buzzwords in skincare over the last, I don't know, two years. Vitamin C. Is vitamin yeah. C. Yeah. yeah, I agree. So for people that don't understand... Vit like I use vitamin C. Yeah, I, I use don't vitamin C. understand much. I just use it because I know I'm supposed to use it. Yeah. What are all the things that vitamin C does to the skin? Yeah. So vitamin C is an antioxidant, um, and it's it's um, it it does stimulate the mm. collagen in our skin, but it also helps get rid of all the free radical damage as yeah. well. Um, and, and the free radical damage is like the dark spots that come up after being out in the sun. Yeah. Ab Diet, the environment, yeah. our body is designed to sort of deal with free radicals, yeah. um, vitamins. And remember, um, we can have the best diet in the world. Yeah, right? and You can be a yeah. fruitarian, a vegetarian, yeah. a whatever you want to be, but just remember your organs will always take what it wants first from the yeah. nutrients of the mm. food and anything that's ingested. So very little gets to the surface of our skin. And okay, that's why yeah. vitamin C mm. became so popular because it's a direct hit to the skin. Mm. Okay. And our skin is the most exposed, our face is the most exposed part of our body. Yeah. Yeah. And therefore the vitamin C can deal with um, you know the damage caused by free radicals right. um, so it is great for pigmentation mm -hmm. um, so definitely if you if you've got pigmentation use a high concentrated vitamin C serum or cream yeah um, such as my fabulous new yes so that's 20% L-ascorbic acid uh, which L-ascorbic acid is the, the most mm. widely used yeah. mm -hmm. it's um, it's one of the best vitamin C ingredients mm. unfortunately it's not stable mm. Um, mm. so it's hard to formulate with um, and as I said it needs to be in an air mm. jar or, yeah. Yeah. or bottle to keep the air and the light away that's right. from it and so yeah. lovely yours is and yeah. lovely yes. mine yes. yeah absolutely yeah. so that's um, and also in terms of texture mm. uh, hyaluronic acid we were talking yeah. about before yeah. is really good at plumping the skin yeah. you know, it's, it's like our our water reservoir for the yeah. skin. Yeah. That's phenomenal. Um, and nice cinnamide is really good as well. Yeah. I like nice cinnamide. Yeah. 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 So again, you can buy, there are some serums that have a blend mm -hmm. um, or you can just focus on the one that mm. you need. Now, you just mentioned nice cinnamide. I feel like this is a, it's not new, but I feel like this is a yeah. new mm. ingredient to the beauty world. It's not. It's actually been used for a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Nice and nice been Under around. Under a different name. Yeah, well, I mean... Some vitamin B. Vitamin B, yeah, because yeah. it's, it's a vitamin B. But in people, um, when you think about skincare brands in marketing, um, we kind of... A lot of brands are regurgitating the same sort of yeah. advertising blurb, so to speak. Um, so because consumers are becoming more savvy... Brands are now starting to use, I guess, the technical name for sort yes. of things as well. Yeah. So nice cinnamide sounds yeah. great. Like, what yeah. is it? Yeah. Um, whereas, you know, vitamin B serum, People probably more like, relatable. But, it, yeah, but, but, it's, yeah. but I also think vitamin B, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, like it's all... It's like, what does it you, do? You go, oh, yeah, you have to, mm. you have to... I feel like having specific names for things yeah. mm. often does 
make people go, oh, yeah, that's the one that's yeah. associated with that. Yes. Like vitamin A, retinol. Like I'm, you know, if you said what's the difference between vitamin A and vitamin B, a lot of people would be like, I don't know. But yeah. if you say what's the difference between a retinol and a, a niacinamide, and niacinamide yeah. people go, okay. Okay, there's, I there's, know the difference. There yeah. are different things. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but I, yeah, so I think it's, I think what happens as well with brands is they go, okay, this is a buzzword, and then they start putting yeah. it on the label. Yes. Whereas previously it was just in the formula, yeah. but they know this is a trending sort mm. of topic. Yeah. So yeah. We, instead of just adding it into the formula, we're going to highlight it by yeah. putting it on the, as label. A, on the label. People are yeah. taking their skincare a lot more serious yeah. these yeah. days, and they want to know what's in it. Yeah. 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 And, you know, every one of these uh, ingredients we've, we've spoken about today are all important. Yeah. You know, because our skin doesn't, as I said before, doesn't need it just doesn't one. It doesn't need one. Need all right, guys, so we're going to start to wrap this up. But before we do that, we actually want to talk a little bit about Glyco and their products. Yep. We've got Darren here. And may as well. We may as well because the vast majority of your range is anti-aging. Mm. Right now. Right uh, now. Soon to change. Yeah, so... <laughs> We, we uh, glyco is about age prevention. Yeah. So if you're not, if you don't have visible signs of aging, then you know you might just start with two or three products. Yeah. Um, if you've got visible signs of aging that you want to correct, then you'll be looking at using uh, the Fortify, RX. follow the Ritual yeah. RX, and even then you still get to customize your products. Yeah. Um, so if you prefer a creamy cleanser or an active cleanser, um, you just purchase your preference right. but everything in those steps is designed for a specific purpose mm. to correct as I mentioned before every element that that ages us right. and like what Kat said before um, if you start using skincare you're going to start to see the results over time mm. yeah. but at the same time you're still getting older yes. right? yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. and yeah. that's why you know some brands are turning against using the word anti-aging, anti-aging. Yeah. because yeah. nothing's going to stop us from aging. No. Yet. Um, yet. yet. <laughs> There's that disclaimer. Love we that. have to keep putting that up on the board. Oh, no. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, so th- um, for us, some new products that have come out is the Vitamin C Brightening Cream. Yes. Uh, which I mentioned before. Simon's favourite. Yeah. Um, it's got an amazing it. texture. Yeah. It's very hydrating. Yeah. I was yeah. saying before, it's almost like a toothpaste formula. Yep. Where yeah. it's not... I wouldn't use it as a moisturizer. I use it as like a serum sort of step yeah, and then I can. put a moisturizer yeah, at the yeah. top because I use it quite sparingly because it's very, very active. Yeah. yeah. And it's, you, you're like, this is doing something. It's yeah. not like a vitamin C yeah. serum that you get from Priceline. You're like, what happened? What happened? <laughs> like you put it yeah. on, you're like, oh, I you can, can feel, feel it's it. warming. Yeah. It's like tingly. Yeah. Um, and so it's I put it, like I put use generally about half a pump because you can do half pumps. Yeah. Um, and I'll put it on my face and then I'll go in with a moisturizer. But it's almost like a like a toothpaste yeah. sort of consistency. It's got a little bit of That's grit. Right. So yeah, it's, it's got like, a bit of grit. And it's like a drier yeah. paste. It's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So it's our first waterless moisturizer. So yeah. there's mm. no water in there. And that's right. what um, the consistency mm. in the formula yeah. gives it that texture. And then once you sort of um, rub it in, um, you can feel yeah. the product on your skin. It's quite velvety. It's quite velvety. Mm. Um, Almost like a silicon primer. That's what I was going to say. It gives yeah. that silicon okay. primer yeah. feel. Yeah. And again, so we were talking about silicons before. Um, you know, some people are for silicons. Uh, summer su- against. Summer against. Yeah. Um, what's really important with silicons is they, um, especially um, ultra refined silicon in, in skincare, is it actually has a lot of benefits to, to sort of calming the skin. And this mm. goes back to our ethos in terms of yeah we're going to deliver 20 percent mm. l-ascorbic acid into the skin mm. um but at the same time we know this is quite an active product so we've added in some ultra refined silicon medical grade silicon to help take some of that mm. yeah um i to guess take the pressure off yeah. take the pressure yeah. off yeah, yeah and and just respect the skin for what yeah. it is those um, respectful products added again yeah. yeah but i'm going to say one of the products that i think is that if you want to try a product that you can understand what he's talking about, like respecting the skin, yeah, your retinol booster. Oh, okay. It's, it's a retinol oh. serum, but it's in an oil base, yeah. and it just feels like velvet. Amazing. Now, oh, I use so that good. product too, and I fucking love it. It's yeah. so good. Oh, now, good. that yeah, product... It's in an oil base, but it does have some of those silicons you mentioned yeah, it's got as some well, silic- doesn't yeah, it? it does. And yep. I personally bring this up and I find it interesting because a lot of cheap silicon products, mm. um, Porfessional comes to mind in Australia. It's not cheap. It's like 50 something dollars. Yeah. Breaks me out. Mm. I can't use it. And, and I hate it. Yeah. And there's an example yeah, of but different yours of does yeah. not... Mm 
cause Good. congestion and it or yeah, breakouts. Yeah, yeah, it won't. It's refined and it's respectful. But it almost feels like for a retinol that is active and in mm. there working and often you try other products and it is harsh on the skin, it almost feels like this one's like, a, it's like a It's a almost treatment. nourishing. It's like a, yeah, yeah, it's like a, yeah. ooh, this, this feels amazing. Yeah. Like you don't put it on and you're like, okay, I feel like I'm putting on a water and it's just like, like yeah, no, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's a treatment product. It's a treatment. Yeah, it's exactly. It's feeling yeah. like it's yeah. doing something good for mm. the skin. So the the balance of it is quite unique, I think, for your brand. Yeah. Because even though we're talking about before, like um, brands like Drunk Elephant, you know, they will deliver a, a shot of um, actives, but almost you think at what cost? And yeah. off camera, we're talking about I said that a lot this time. Uh, that we're talking about. I had to discontinue a Drunk Elephant prob- uh, products. It was causing me like skin concerns yeah and just the other night i used one and woke up today going what the fuck yeah yeah, yeah. So, so i i feel like they give you the ingredients that that are the buzzwords and the concentrations yeah. you're after but it doesn't help like but it doesn't cushion your skin to prepare for them. yes the word and yeah and that's mm. look i i love active skincare give mm. me the skincare that works you know i want the ingredients and i want them in doses that are actually therapeutic mm. but i also don't want to wake up and go oh my god now how do like, i deal with I this i can't yeah. even yeah. go out mm. of the house without people looking at me strange today mm. and that's why we do it because we want to minimize reactions and you'll yeah. find that um, when you use high active products you might be fine for the first few days yeah. and then after that bang it just yeah. all of a sudden you notice the textures change yeah. the redness yeah. is there um, the discomfort's there, and mm. you know, I always say to clients, yes, your skin doesn't talk. Yeah. You have to monitor your skin. Yeah. The only way it's going to um, express Tell itself is, is by through... showing you. That's with... right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so with the with the retinol example, if you're just using a retinol serum where it's a half of one percent retinol, mm. um, and let's just say it's it doesn't have all the wonderful oils and so forth in there, um, eventually you might find that your skin will get drier through the increased cellular mm. turnover. Yeah. Um, so what we do is we put glycolipids and phospholipids mm. in our retinol booster, so we're cushioning the skin yeah. as well as delivering the active ingredients. Yeah. So with our new Skin Brilliance, for example. Um, so this is uh, an uh, AHA and a BHA. Um, <laughs> I'm excited to try this. Yeah, um, you're going to love it. It's a revitalizing solution. Yeah. So we're talking a lot today about glycolic acids yeah. and the benefits of um, AHAs and BHAs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's a blend in this particular product. Now we formulated a, a low pH of 3.5 for effective yeah. exfoliation. But b- because we've added anti-inflammatory ingredients mm. in there... Um, it offsets. Can I open this? Yeah, yeah this yeah. way, the silver bit. Yeah, oh, just okay. twist it around. Yeah, um, it offsets the. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, it's quite. It smells. No, it's got that. No, no, salicylic. it does. It smells like the the pads. Yeah. Like mm. he's got the um, resurfacing pads. The resurfacing yeah. pads mm. and. They're basically, they're quite similar, very, aren't they? The formulations are very similar. We just felt that um, having it in a bottle this size yeah. represents better value for the customer. Mm. Okay, yeah. Some people like the pads because they're convenient. Yeah. I've used the pads and yeah, I think I like they're the pads fantastic. Too. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know, we don't always say this, but you can cut them in half yes. and get he gave He totally gave me that tip. He said, yeah. cut them in half. And you get yeah. yeah. so, Or we'll use a full one and down to the booby. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. In the and, yeah, if yeah. you've got yeah, such a really good idea. That's why a lot of the people that do use the pads, because yeah. they're so moist. Yeah. Even when you they get to the last very, one, very yes. they're still going to be fully saturated. It's enough to do your face. Yeah, I do my neck, hands deck, as well. Yeah. Arms, like back of hands, like you can yeah. just keep on going if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can I just admit that I one thing I've taken away from this is that I need to use more glycolic acid mm. in my return. See, I've been using mm. acids a lot, um, and especially sort of late last year when I had that weird skin breakout thing. Because Which I is felt looking like, fantastic. I know, way. I know. But I felt like it was pretty much the only thing that was sort of managing it mm. at the time. Acid, acid, acid. Mm. Yeah. So I, look. Give You're me all the acid. I love acid. And you acid. can, yeah, and this is, um, what I was going to also say is um, ours is alcohol free. Yeah, so okay, so it's are... not going to like dry out the skin exactly. or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. So for that, that, that reason. that often goes hand in hand. People yeah. blame the dryness on the, acid. on the acids, 
but it's alcohol. Yeah, so yeah, to a degree, in. glycolic, because of its stimulating mm. actions in the skin, can make the, the skin feel... And remember, it's dissolving that top layer of yeah. skin. Yeah. So it does make your skin feel a little bit drier, yeah. and you should always wait for your acids to dry before you go yeah. to your serums and moisturizers. Yeah. But when brands add alcohol in there, yeah. the dry the, there are some very good um, alcohols that we mm. can use in skincare that do no harm to okay, the skin. Yeah, yeah. But drying alcohol, like SD alcohol, things like that, you got to be really careful because they damage your collagen. Right. Oh, okay. oh my god! Don't touch my collagen. So just be. So if you're out there looking for yeah. exfoliant liquid exfoliators mm. like this one, look yeah. at your ingredients and just yeah. make sure it's an alcohol free version. Mm. Yeah. Um, because you don't want to do more damage. But what I'm what I wanted to say with this, it's it's formulated that you can build up to using it daily. Mm. Okay. Great. Right. So this one, since it's in a pump. Is it a liquid or is it like a gel? It's like it's water. It's like water. Like water. Yeah. So you put it on a, a pad. A cotton pad. pad yeah. And you, yeah. Yep. So cleanse, dry your skin. Yep. Yeah. Um, double cleanse in yeah. the evening mm -hmm. to get all your makeup and SPF off. And then basically um, two to three pumps is all you need. Yeah. yeah. Gently um, and don't... Take it over the face. Uh, just glide it over the face. Yeah. Avoid no the rubbing. immediate... No rubbing and yeah. no repeating over the same area. Okay. Yeah. So you want to swipe down over the nose. Um, chin area. You can certainly do your neck. Obviously, your neck's a little bit more sensitive, mm. so just maybe just try it first in the neck area. Yeah. If if you tolerate it well, then that's great. Mm. Um, allow the product to dry and then go on to your mm -hmm. serums. And that's important because we learnt in the video last time it keeps it keeps exfoliating, exfoliating the skin. Yeah. until it While dries. While it's wet, yeah. correct. Yeah. 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 So that's that's new. So uh, what else have you got for us, Darren? Uh, so we've released a new travel slash starter pack Excellent. for people that might want to give Glyco a go. So yeah. um, the Age Reverse kit has actually got four products. Mm -hmm. There's a hidden uh, product on this side here. Yeah. So it comes with our... It's a surprise. Product. Surprise, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we've got our peptide cleansing gel, which is our concentrated anti-pollution uh, cleanser. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, very concentrated, all skin types. Uh, and you only need a tiny bit of that. You yeah, do. Yeah. In the big bottle, it's literally one pump, mm. wet yeah. hands, wet face. Yeah. Lather it up. Make sure it turns into um, a lather. Like opaque mm. yeah, lather. Before you put it on. Correct. It yeah. will get makeup off really well. Stubborn mm. makeup and eye makeup, obviously use eye makeup yeah. remover, but mm. foundation is great. Uh, Advanced Cellular Repair Serum is your uh, basically your anti-aging serum. Yeah. And then we've got our um, Ultimate Firming Peptide Cream, which yes. won Best Firming Cream by Harper's Bazaar 2018. That's um, a nice consistency. Yeah, so it's a it's, medium weight cream yeah. as well. So Good for, I love that for the day. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And then on this side that's hidden is our Hydra C Trim and Mist. That's a lovely mist. I love I this. I really like I haven't that. tried 20 it. Mils. So you've got 30ml cleanser, 15ml serum, that's a good size. 15 ml yeah. day cream and 20 ml spray. I will let you know that you can buy the 15 ml advanced cellular less MC on our website. It's $160 on its own. Wow. Okay. The whole kit is $220. Okay. Yeah. All right. 220, cool. 210. 210. 210. Whatever All right. on the website. So better value. Yeah. yeah. You're going to get at least two months, at yes. least. Yeah. yeah. Uh, out of this kit so it's a really good opportunity to do yeah. that before do, and after photo yes. when yeah. you buy this and get yeah. started on that. So that's... So, so so you can get two months use, which is good because mm. you see the benefits, but also like, and we're not going to beat around the bush. Your products are really good, but they're, they're expensive. Higher, yeah, yeah. They're not yeah. like your La Mer kind of mm. price range, luxury no. price range, but you're, you're paying for decent yeah. formulations and yeah. ingredients. Um, so this is probably a good way to try things out yeah. before you commit to big bottles yeah um it's a yeah good thing to do exactly and and our all our products are formulated by a dermatologist uh, as well um and she's a board certified dermatologist and formulator um so her and i've worked together to produce um glyco um the other thing that we've released is a this deluxe is so cute. sample pack. Really cute. Yeah, this is um cool. we understand that we're an online brand so people might be a bit hesitant about you know spending you know whatever yeah. to get all their products yeah, that they yeah. need um so this one here comes with um as i said seven products uh, it's a great way to try the brand. You should get up to 10 days um, use out of use it. Out of it. Yep. You get our peptide uh, cleansing gel, uh, the new skin brilliance exfoliating liquid. Um, you get our Hydra C treatment mist. Mm -hmm. um, you get oh. our oh, cellular repair day cream SPF 15. I love that cellular defense it's beautiful, SPF 15. Isn't it? And the scent, yeah. I don't know why. It just. The fragrance, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love so it. So we are. We, uh, um, move all our products except um, to have got artificial fragrances yeah. in. So we're moving away from that this year 
will be um, all on the natural fragrance side of things. Okay. Um, but that product has got the, yeah. the fragrance out of it. But it's a it. nice fragrance. It's very and pleasant. It's not. It's not the sort of thing that you put on and go, oh, that's strong. It's the sort of thing you put mm, on and you nice. get like a just a really nice that's sort of... That's a nice experience. Yeah, yeah, it's sort of like, it's what you would want a nice morning cream to smell yeah. like. Mm, yeah. And then it disappears. Mm. And it's multitasking, so it's got a neutral tint that sort of blends yes. with the natural pigments yeah. in yeah. your skin. It's just to give you a nice, even-looking complexion. Yeah. I love um, that product. It's got product. sun protection, it's antioxidants. Mm. It's got everything in there, mm. so it's a great product. Lovely. Um, then you've got the Ultimate Firming Peptide Cream. So pretty much the three, the products that are in here are yeah. also in here. And then you get our two serums. So you get the Retinol Booster. Which is that oil. The oil yeah. one. Mm -hmm. um, and the Advanced Cellular Repair Serum that comes in that mm. pack yeah. there. So these are designed, uh, so they are, they're, um, they're designed for customers to, as I said, try the range um, for up to 10 days. Um, and they're also available online now. Excellent. Awesome. Right. How much is that pack? That's $48. Yeah. Um, yeah, $48. Yeah. Nine, uh, Skin Brilliance is $92, and I think $210 for the, for the starter pack. The and I think kit. what's important as well is that Darren explained to us before that he's not making any money on this kit. Not so no. so the, the price of this kit is, is what, what it costs. costs. So it's more of a way to sort of get people being able to test the products because yep. they're not in store. Like, yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. So and it, also they're just, expensive. Yeah. So sometimes people need to know about the experience. Will I react? What's yeah. experience like? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is totally fair. And the... The sample collection is not um, a permanent item. Okay. Mm, so we're getting, I'm sort of trying it on a limited um, See how it goes. time basis. Yeah. And then depending on yeah. how they go, we'll yeah. review it and so forth. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Great. But they're available now. Cool. Okay. Available now. Great. And guys, there actually is going to be a link to Glaco's website in the description box, obviously. And we also have a code. Yes. Now, the code is Beauty News. Mm -hmm. And Darren has hooked us up today. He's going to offer twenty dollars off if you use the code Beauty News on the Glyco website. So off your first off order. your first order. The first ten people to use that code are also going to receive a sample collection in their order. Okay. So feel free, which is great. Free. So if you are interested in Glyco and what they have to offer, definitely jump on their website and take a look. And we don't mind spruiking Darren. No, we love, we him. love him. And, and his products are actually really good. They're but fantastic. also, that discount code is not like a limited time only. No. Mm. This that, is not an infomercial. No, that is not. That is a... Oh, no. you, yeah. now, you, you have 22 minutes. And you get a set of knives. Um, <laughs> no, but you know, you can... But if wait, you, <laughs> there's more. Yeah. But if you're like, I want to wait, I just bought a new serum and I want to yeah. wait, like, you know... You can still use the code. Yeah, yeah. Mm. No yeah, pressure. Right. The code is permanent. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, we'll keep it permanent and it's, it's off your first order. That's fine. Yeah. And then the first 10 people that do yeah. order. Yeah. Um, we'll get a little... After this video is aired. After this video. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. We'll receive the mm. sample pack, which is yeah. about $48. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Excellent. All right. Until next time. Yes. 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 Look, yeah. thank you so much, Darren, for joining us. Uh, yeah. And we will that. be doing another one of these talking about other issues. Yeah. Mm. Acne is going to be the next yeah. one. Yeah. We're very excited. But I'm you, excited for that one. I'm excited for that one. Yeah. But if you, if you do have more questions or concerns mm. or video ideas that we can meet up and chat to Darren about, you know, whatever it might be, you know, we we're talking before um, maybe like foods. Yeah. Skin foods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Things yeah. like that. We're just talking about cat food. Anyway, yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if you've got any suggestions of what sort of skincare mm. chats you want to hear us talk about, like, you know, we love talking to Darren and we will try to facilitate it in the future because mm. I think, like, from my perspective, which is sort of someone that is a consumer but also um, has worked with brands in the mm. past, I have to say that I feel like you're one of the least BS. Yeah, mm -hmm. I try to be. Well, I with facial colors always straight down the line. Yeah, yeah. and, and I think that's what that's what is so refreshing. Yeah. Refreshing, yeah. and what makes me actually trust your products and yeah. also yeah. trust your advice because I, you know, if you like, if you if you could say, look, if you don't need an eye cream, don't buy one. Like yeah. that's what I think yeah. a lot of people would prefer to hear than than your experience with the Estee Lauder yeah. and you need a shampoo mm -hmm. and you need a this and you're like, do I? Um, but if you get someone that actually you can trust, then, you know, 
it, it makes the process a lot easier. Yeah. So uh, we're happy to sit down and chat with Darren because yeah. he's we a are. good egg. Thank you. Which means yeah. we're going to have him back soon. Yes. Yeah. Also, was... thank you, Simon, yes. oh, for joining you're us. <laughs> you're welcome. So, I love right. Simon. Yeah, well, we I love, love you guys. We love so. Simon and we love Darren. Oh, and we I love hope, you too. We hope you guys love Simon and Darren. We yeah. hope you loved this chat. And we'll link, link Simon's blog and we Instagram. Oh, of course. Shucks. Everything down in the description box. Go check it out. It's a party for you after the video. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.